R&B money. When was the first time someone said to you, you have something special, or you said to yourself, I think I have something special? Oh, I always knew. Oh, for sure. Okay. From, from like yeah. elementary school. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I knew, yeah. <laughs> I right. Knew, it, yeah. it was right in here, though. It's, it's, <laughs> matter of fact. No, I just knew that I wanted to be um, an artist. I knew that I wanted to, whether it was like, I was very into like musical theater, like when I was younger, because I was like, I want to be an actress too, and I want to be a singer. Like, I know I can sing. And I remember I was graduating. Um, elementary school and they were giving out like singer the best singer of the year or of the class and it was a performance me. school or no it was just a public school okay, but they okay. had like the performance arts like i went to school in brooklyn mm-hmm. okay so um and they gave it to this girl and she didn't sing at all like she didn't even really talk so i was so confused as to how she could win singer of the year and i was furious and I, it just like lit a fire underneath me. So that's and I was your, like, "That's your villain moment." Yeah, I was like, "Okay." <laughs> I was that's like, what "All right, doing? Okay. okay." So then in middle school, I went to a performing arts school in Brooklyn, and then I was like, "I'm going to be in the choir." And I went so hard to try to be in the choir. They didn't let me in. What? They didn't let me in the choir. I don't know. Me in school just don't have a good like a history. Mm-hmm. Just me in the, me in the public school system. Yeah. Um. So then I was like, "All right, well, like." forget you then and then I went into theater and then every like time they only did musicals and I would just go so hard and like because my theater teacher knew that I could sing so he would always want to give me the singing parts and the choir teacher who was also involved in it she just hated she hated on me for whatever reason and I was just like well man now I'm the ladybug so what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> and it was just always I'm the like, ladybug. <laughs> and enjoy no. that. No, I'm the ladybug. <laughs> so the ladybug's the star. Yes, I love it. she was. Yeah. It was like well, the ladybugs were kind of like the dream girls, and I was so okay. like, uh, yeah. And so um, that was like a full. I don't know. Wh- I don't know where these schools got all this money to put these plays on in like Brooklyn, but mm-hmm. that was a full production. And so. Um, then I went to high school and I got into the choir, but the teacher did not like me. What still. were you doing to these teachers? I just wanted to sing. And so I'm just like, he would never give me a solo. Were and you walking one- in like, I'm here? Well, why would yeah. I not be confident? Okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. all right. There it is. I'm trying to, I'm trying, see, no, because no. No, but I was just like. Confidence, yes, but you got to understand. I mean, obviously you're an adult now. But as a kid, you don't understand this is that most people who are teachers are people who really wanted to do it. Yeah. For some oh, no, reason, I something now. happened and now they, they, you know, they still love it and they're teaching. So oh. when they, when you walk in with all that confidence, ladybug, mm-hmm, ladybug, <laughs> they like, hey, man, hey, get her the fuck out of here. Hey, right? hey. I ain't no, got yeah. time for this shit. Yeah. No, my high school, stun on me. Yeah. my high school choir teacher was definitely like bitter. But then he, we were learning a lot of like music theory, like mm-hmm. um, things that I probably don't like incorporate into like my life now. But I just wanted to like, we were singing opera. So I was like, I, he was like, you're going to be a tenor. And I'm like, well, I can sing everything. I was like, well, I wanted to be a soprano. And then he was like, no, you're a tenor. You're there. And I'm just like, that's crazy. And I was like, well, actually, I can sing baritone, too. So like I was just oh, yeah. was like, you were oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's starting to come out. Yeah, yeah, the more yeah. she talks, I get it. It's starting to come it. out. No, I wasn't He's saying like, it like that. I'm saying it now like that. But I was just like, hey, like I can do more than just this. Like mm-hmm. don't box me in. Mm-hmm. He was like, you're gonna do what I tell you to do, and I'm just like, which oh. is fair too. Which is fair. From you know what I mean? Like you don't want to be. I boxed guess maybe in. I was trying to be like a teacher's pet. Mm-hmm. But it, because I just wanted just like the birds. The wrong way. But he just didn't. But also he was just like angry he was like an angry man and so <laughs> angry man <laughs> so then the one time he gave me a solo he knew i was sick oh that's, he knew that's i was sick part. and then i remember i was sitting in like the courtyard or whatever we had a performance and i cracked and i just cried and i ran away like my voice cracked and i just cried and i ran away and then i was like another villain story was invented i was like oh wow yeah this will never happen to me again and so um, then I got a vocal coach and my mom, like, I was like, this is what I want to do. Regardless of all that work that I did, like, I went to, like, summer programs or whatever. But um, then I started to, I asked my mom, I was like, I want to be a singer. And she was like, you know, most parents in the, in the industry, they're just like, no. 
They're mm-hmm. like, I'm not, I don't want you to be a part of this. It's like a brutal experience and they don't want their kids to have to go through these things because they see it firsthand. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay, whatever. Now I'm on the internet. I'm on Tumblr. I'm developing my own. Like You go find it yourself. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm on my own. I create my own world and this whole community of like New York Tumblr kids and we're just like running around the city. Like now I can hang out in the city and I'm like. How old are you at this time? I'm like. 16 17 Mm -hmm. and um i'm no longer oh no i was still in school at the time but i was like i was in high school but like 10th grade Mm -hmm. and then um i started to develop like a fan base pretty much on tumblr um by just you know just being weird and quirky and experimenting with my look and then like I started to make covers on YouTube and just singing and like showing that I could sing. Mm-hmm. And then um, people started to like find out. And I think I was at a BMI panel one time with my mom and cause she would always bring me to these events and they were doing a Q and A and it was like Lorianne Gibson and like a bunch of other people. I can't remember like who else was up there. I just remember cause how could you ever forget Lorianne? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But so. You don't remember Bone Cat. <laughs> yeah. You don't yeah. remember Bone Cat. Mm-hmm. So I um, stood on the line for the Q and A and I was like, can I sing? Like, this seems like the right room to just be singing. Mom, you, you, had, you, had, <clears throat> you didn't tell your mother that no. you were about to do this at all. No, yeah. And so oh, I just shit. stood in the line and I was like, can I sing? And then they were like, yeah. And I, I sang this song called Black and Gold by Sam Sparrow. And then everyone, there was like a room full of people who wanted to figure out how to be a part of the industry, mm-hmm. whether it's producer or mm-hmm. like uh, executive or whatever. And so, so many people then like, ran up to me and my mom after like do you have a manager like do you have a producer do you have like what are you doing and then my mom was like okay and then as i started to like build this fan base on tumblr um people started to like reach out and wanted to work with me and so my mom then put me in with someone that she knew and trusted at the time and i started to just like uh make original music Mm -hmm. like you know work with some writers and producers and I was still in high school, but then it was becoming difficult. So then I started to get homeschooled mm-hmm. because like I would be in the studio really late and we were trying to get me a yeah. record deal. And it was so funny because I would go to all the labels and like now that I think about it, I'm so embarrassed, but I would be like in front of like Leo Cohen and like all these, uh, I think even L.A. Reid and like dancing and singing and like doing this whole stupid little show. And they were like, mm, she's cute. And my, like, spirit was so crushed because I'm so young, just, like, standing in front of these people, like, mm-hmm. pick me. And yeah. then they're like, no. And I'm like, all right, fine. And I just developed. Actually, I was younger than that. I was younger. I wasn't, like, 17 at that time. I was probably, like, 14, 15. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah. So I, looking I back out, on it, would you do that again? No. Why not? Give because we we want we want the audience to understand the process. Well, also times are so different now. I think that right. when I was um first starting, like there was still this I guess old school mentality at like record labels um and like artist development and like that's not necessarily a thing mm-hmm. anymore because we have platforms like TikTok or Instagram right now and in YouTube where so many people are kind of just becoming like overnight like sensations just mm-hmm. so because do you, do you feel like themselves. that's good or bad though or both I think that it's um both I think that there's pros and cons to it because now I mean it's kind of just strange because everyone like thinks that they're like an and a rapper and an artist and I think that it's great that people like obviously everyone loves music it's the universal language so yeah, people mm-hmm. if you have the ability to make music like why wouldn't you mm-hmm. and then there's platforms where like it can reach people hundreds millions of people like in a second so why would you not share that and I think that there's a difference between people who just enjoy like making music and then people who like want to be a star right because even And I learned that very early on, like just with working with a bunch of songwriters, because I'm like, these people are so talented. Like, why aren't they like celebrities? Why aren't they like bigger? Like, why aren't they superstars? And it's just everyone doesn't want to be that, you Mm -hmm. know, like you can be talented and creative and like have all these ideas, but not everybody to be in front of the camera and to be like the face of it all. Like you really have to have tough skin. 
R&B. Mo-